Right, I've had a request to show what happens um, when I actually bolt the action into the stock on this MDT XRS stock with it at a slight angle. So I've already set my stock up level, so if I put that on there you have to excuse the GoPro image because the GoPro Pro image is getting a bit of interference from the LED lights above, it's just phasing slightly. So you see there, I've got the stock in level. So now I'll put the action in. So just put this level on, see where we are at the moment. Just check the camera. Yeah, come back a fraction. You'll see there that I'm slightly off on the level. So get a torque wrench. Set it to 6.7 newton meters. Seven newton meters on the torque wrench. I'm going to torque the front one first. One, three. So, I'm not going to touch the action as I tighten it up. The action didn't move at all in the stock. So, bubble level still in the same place. Again, rear one. So you see the action hasn't moved at all in the stock as I tightened it up. So it's still off in relation to the stock. So the action is off in relation to the stock. Right, we'll undo it again. This time we'll just move it over to the other side. So we're now in that position. So again, let's tighten up the front one first. As you see, the action didn't move at all in the stock as we tightened it up. So it's off at an angle the opposite way. So now let's do it the way I normally do it. Go. And there you see the action is level in relation to the stock. Just to prove that matter,
you'll see the stock is still level. So hopefully that shows that the way I tend to set my action in the stock is correct for me. Whether it's because the action is cerakoted might be that it causes just a bit of resistance, but it doesn't seem that rough. So anyway, that's the reason I use a level for setting my ticker action into an XRS stock.